students. I found it to be a great community on campus that was really um, working on lots of cool projects to empower all the students here to live sustainably um, and make a difference in the world. Each person making a small change can first of all inspire others to make a similar small change, which will lead to kind of a domino effect. The student perspective is irreplaceable. We want everybody to live as sustainably as possible. The students are studying a lot of these topics in class, and they need no convincing that this is an issue that needs urgent action. Their green sale on campus has not only changed behaviors, it's changed mindsets. New is not necessarily necessary. Students tend to leave items behind that are like usable. We sell it for like very, very low prices, so we diverted 100,000 pounds of usable items from landfill. I think that sustainability is something that if people don't really learn by the time they're out of the school system, it's something that they're not going to learn to implement in their own lives. It's really important that the youth understand how that this is kind of it and now is the time that we make a difference. And I think with like Greta Thunberg and a lot of other youth activists becoming so prevalent now, it's the best time to get youth involved. Encouraging those sustainable habits um, is very important early on. Just in my time at Columbia over the four years, I've seen a huge attitude shift towards sustainability. Little changes everyone makes impacts a campus culture and beyond, and I think that's something you can apply to not just a college campus, but your daily life. And even looking at New York City, all the new sustainability initiatives that the city is pushing for. New York City has incredible challenges and opportunity when it comes to climate change and the environment. You have a city that is totally tuned in and supportive of these issues. It's a matter of us having the drive personally. Think about individual impacts and how they add up. Working on like zero waste things, not using plastic, using reusable um, items as much as possible. Obviously being in New York, it's easy not to drive and to use public transport or bike around a lot. We have a city bike system where for a pretty low fee, you can get free access to thousands of bikes all over New York City. I think a lot of students actually use city bike to sort of extend their reach beyond just the campus bubble. Um, I know a lot of people use it to go downtown or ride in Central Park. It takes a little bit of a mental commitment, but once you get there, the payoffs are huge. Once you are uh, serving as a great example, it's easy for other people to catch on as well. New York City is taking a real leadership stand in the global conversation around climate change. We have a responsibility to manage the resources that are available to us, to leave this planet in a place that's better than we found it. There's only so much you can do as an individual, but if every individual is doing that, it makes a worldwide impact.